couple of things that we will be available for 3ds Max uh, in the beginning, and uh, we're coming up with the Maya real time technology by the end of the year. <coughs> and uh, a few more, uh, a few detailed things about the technology itself. So, one of the first things I want to really mention and stress and point out is that the real time technology is not based on your graphics card. It's a common misunderstanding. Whenever people hear real time, they always think, okay, it's that big graphics thing I have to buy now. And uh, no, actually, the very real time technology is fully based on the CPUs only. We don't care about the speed of your graphics card. As long as it can display the image properly, we're fine with that. So we don't care about the speed of your 3D chip. We don't care about the amount of GPUs you have on your system. So this is a very important feature, and I'll tell you why in a, in a few minutes. So I'll fire up Max 2010 just to show you that we have it working with the latest version of PDS Max. It's also supported in 2009 as well as Max 9. Max 2008 as well. <coughs> Alright, so now that I've mentioned that it's fully CPU based, I have to add that we will use all your CPUs on your computer. So the more you have, the better. And don't worry, we won't charge any extra for that, alright? <laughs> so as you know with V-Ray, we don't care about the amount of CPUs, we don't care about the amount of cores, we'll just uh, make use of all them with a single license, alright? So, which means that the more cores you have, the better, of course. Alright, so, a lot of people actually ask us, why did we go this way? Why didn't we choose the GPUs? Why didn't we choose all those expensive solutions? Well, there are a few reasons. The first thing is that a lot of people wouldn't like to use this kind of technology in distributed rendering, because that means that each and every computer that they want to have in their distributed rendering must have an expensive graphics card. So we don't want users to buy those. Okay, so second thing is that actually the V-Ray real-time technology is not part of 3ds Max at all. The V-Ray real-time technology is an independent application that can run on Windows, any Windows, and uh, Linux, as well as Mac operating systems. Which actually means that you can mix all of those operating systems and have them fully work with your main 3ds Max application. So for example, what I can do is I can have a simple laptop, put 3ds Max interface out, run the V-Ray real-time engine, and actually what it will do is it will fire up the standalone application, and if I'm using distributed rendering, I can have 